First off this morning we went to kind of a rim of a canyon to see if we could look down, see if there was any pigs down there. We call this place Big Western because it's a big cliff that's got about a 300 foot drop. I I'm afraid of heights. I try not to tell very many people because I don't want to think I'm a whippy girl, but I am afraid of heights. We give it about 30 minutes and we still haven't seen anything yet. And I you know, talk to her so you know. I've got another spot uh, about a half mile away. It's a, a tank set up. Let's go down there. And maybe we'll catch something uh, on our way out. It's still early. We're only 30 minutes after light. We might catch them out in the road or crossing the road and get an opportunity there. That's a pig. Just as we crest the hill, Scott spots three hogs just down the ranch road. No door noise. Pigs have a tremendous ability for sound and smell, but their eyesight is very limited, which is probably the reason we were able to get so close with the car. Coming straight at the pig, all he would have seen is a growing dot. Everybody needs to do what I do. Get right behind me, follow my footsteps. We're gonna go down the edge of the road. There's more than one, too. In Texas, hunting hogs on a private ranch road is legal, but it's not the easiest thing to do, especially when you're off to the side of the road and you're tromping through stuff that's so dry, it literally cracks and crumbles every step you take. Everybody try to watch what they step on. These were sounds that could set those hogs off in an instant. For Scott's son, this was the moment he'd been waiting for. Take the black one if it gives you the shot. I don't think he's gonna give me the shot. Take the spotted one. I take a little longer on my shot placement, I think, than probably the average person, but it's because I wanna make sure that they're a good, clean shot, and, and that's it. You shoot once, and they're down. I truly don't ever wanna wound an animal. I just wanna drop them. Good job. Julie's persistence in making sure that shot was dead on really paid off. Nice little pig. Yeah. Pretty little pig. That's gonna be good eating. Good eating. Good shot too. Right behind the ear. Perfect right there. That's probably one of the best shots I've seen, uh, you know, you know, this year. You wouldn't know it by looking, but this is Julie's first time at shooting anything other than birds. It's much more difficult than you think to sneak up on a pig. While we were sitting in a blind, Scott said, I think we need to play a trick on Danny. The way Scott is, you just never know what's gonna happen. Now here I am just trying to fix my camera and Scott's gotta go be a naughty. He's gonna go and make that feeder on the back of his truck sound like a rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll be back right after this.